welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, as you know, uh, we have been working on contentious politics, populism, and democracy here in the state of Wisconsin for seven years. Yeah. Seven years, yeah. a very long exactly. time. Um, it's been contentious for about seven years at least. So, yeah. One of the reasons I think to, that Lou highlighted why we think Wisconsin is such an amazing case to look at populism is because we both have the rise of Walker, which Kathy has written extensively on and has helped shape a lot of our thinking. Uh, and we have the Trump victory. The project Lou described is, you know, again, trying to understand that whole state communication ecology, uh, multiple intersecting layers. And what this project looks like is these are the layers of that project. And we're going to give you a little taste of it over the course of the next day and a half. Uh, and then we really want this to be a conversation. We really want to hear what you think about our projects. We want to contribute to your projects. We're hoping that most of this is a conversation. Conducted a uh, um, series of democracy, which I believe to examine how. how the concept and of the and on the other hand, you have uh, libertarians and authoritarians. They perceive libertarianism. And the argument is that there is an affinity between and populism and populism. populism. And, uh, um, as a result of this, what I think, whatever. And, my and, last point and some people even that, that, that um, um, I would say that yeah. that the one. Um, that do not map on directly to the upper Midwest uh, question, the upper Midwest states, the Rust Belt states that are so important to Trump. Um, but there are these kind of two... I hope in 10 years you can come back to our conference, Did the Populists Deliver? But now we have to break for a few minutes before uh, Pippa Norris's final keynote. Thank you very much to this panel and for your great time. Short break. <laughs> I used to work in